Hi everyone, welcome to the latest update from Parkinson's Queensland. I hope that you're all staying safe and well. Now, um, in this update, I've got some really exciting news for you. We have a new publication out called Nutrition and Parkinson's. Uh, it's a really, really informative 40 page book that uh, covers a whole range of topics from nutrition and Parkinson's, uh, medication and nutrition, uh, constipation, it talks about uh, tips on swallowing um, and uh, and also gives you some uh, some great information about uh, utensils that are available um, as well. So and, and that's just the start of it. It has a whole range of different topics. Um, you can purchase this book through our website or by contacting our office. Uh, we've uh, we've tried to make it uh, really really accessible for everybody. So the price of the book is only ten dollars and that includes uh, postage. So all you've got to do is jump on our website, the book's um, on there, you can purchase it directly from our website, uh, or if um, for any reason you're having any issues, just give the office a call and we can, um, uh, we can get uh, one, one or more copies um, shipped out to you. But uh, look, it is a really, uh, really informative book. Uh, we're really excited to be able to have it uh, available to all of you. So um, please take advantage of it because um, it's, there's some great information in here. Um, now, uh, this month we continue with our series of webinars and again uh, in September we do have a, a, another research focused webinar. Uh, we have uh, Eugenia Ferrero from the University of Queensland and uh, she's going to be talking to us about the so-called jumping gene and Parkinson's. Um, so it's a, quite an informative uh, webinar and um, and something that uh, I'm sure many of you will find very very interesting. Uh, I know when I spoke to Eugenia, it uh, uh, it certainly um, uh, opened my eyes to uh, to some things uh, around um, genetic research that uh, that I wasn't aware of. So um, please, if you'd like to join in, um, the information is now up on our website. You can register for the webinar. It is on the 30th of uh, September, so the end of this uh, the end of this month. Uh, now also a reminder that uh, if you haven't yet taken part in our Parkinson's prevalence survey, uh, I would encourage you to do so. Uh, it will provide us with some invaluable information that we will be able to take to both state and federal governments about the prevalence of Parkinson's across Queensland. We are doing this in partnership with uh, Griffith University. Um, if you've received the link to the survey or the paper-based copy and it's been sitting on your, on your um, dining table, please fill it out and get it back to us. Um, the information that you provide uh, is absolutely invaluable. If you haven't received it or you haven't yet, um, or you weren't aware that perhaps the survey um, was happening, please get in touch with us and we will get you the information out as quickly as possible. As I said, it's a really important piece of research for us to be able to advocate more effectively um, to government. Um, now, in another exciting bit of news, um, and this is more focused on those of you that are caring for someone living with Parkinson's, uh, we, we are aware that those of you that are in a carer role don't often um, have access to support programs. So next month in October, I'm really, really pleased to be able to tell you that we're going to be launching uh, a new program for those of you who are in a carer role, um, and it's using a very particular form of art called Neurographica um, to help you express how you're feeling and to use creativity uh, as a way of getting some of those um, feelings on paper. Um, we've got a very, very experienced facilitator in Kirsty Mitchell, um, and there'll be more information coming out over the next couple of weeks about the program and about how you can register. Um, but I would really encourage you to keep an eye out for that. Um, as I said, we are the first group that we're going to be working with uh, are those of you that are caring for someone with Parkinson's. We are doing it remotely uh, via Zoom, so you can do it in the comfort of your own home um, and it's not a huge commitment of time. So keep an eye out for that, but it's a really exciting new initiative that we are rolling out uh, in October. Look, that's all from me for, for this uh, fortnightly update. As always, if you need to speak to us, if you're looking for any information or support, please get in touch with the office. That's what we're here for. Remember that you also have access to our telephone peer support program. Uh, our mentors are there ready and waiting uh, to take your call. Um, so stay safe and we'll see you again in a fortnight's time. Bye for now.